Hey guys, I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on animal vocabulary. And today we're going to focus on cats and dogs. However, some of this vocabulary, lots of this vocabulary actually, um, can also be applied to other animals. So I'm going to teach you some nouns. Uh, there will be some pictures and um, we're also going to look at some common verbs that we associate with these animals. Um, so for all you pet lovers out there, you want to learn how to talk about dogs and cats and their actions and their features, this lesson is for you. Uh, those of you who don't have pets, this lesson is still useful because, well, everybody has seen a cat, everyone has seen a dog, I think. And um, if you haven't, you're going to see lots of them in this video. So first, let's look at the nouns. So here we have tail. And we're going to focus on the pronunciation as well. So this is tail. Cats and dogs have tails. Uh, basically, it's the back of the animal that can move around, as you can see right here. Next, we have fur. Okay, fur. Fur is basically the hair on an animal. So the hair on a dog or the hair on a cat or the hair on almost any animal is called fur. F-U-R, fur. Next up, we have pause. So the pronunciation is the same like pause in a video game, for example. Now, the word pause means the feet of a cat or a dog. So the bottoms, the bottoms of the feet are the paws of the animal. Spots, uh, we have many dogs which have spots on them. Spots, think of... Um, the film 101 Dalmatians. A Dalmatian has lots and lots of spots on them. So they're little black areas on the animal. Whiskers. So this is related to cats. It can also be related to tigers, for example. Uh, whiskers are the things that come from the cat's nose. These are whiskers. Whiskers. The things, I should say, like hairs or strands or something like that. Next, we have stripes, okay? Uh, tigers have stripes. Some cats have stripes as well. Um, they're lines on the body, as you can see here. Okay, and finally, we have claws. So claws are the nails of a cat, for example. So a, cla a cat, a clat. I just mixed up claws and cat, clat. Okay, claws. A cat can have sharp claws. That can be a tongue twister. A cat can have sharp claws. Okay, so claws are the nails of a cat. Uh, next, let's look at some verbs. These verbs are also associated with, again, cats and dogs. We have wag. Once more, wag. So when you think of a dog and the dog's tail is moving back and forth and back and forth, because the dog is happy or the dog wants to go for a walk, the dog's tail is wagging, okay? You can also wag your finger at somebody. Uh, probably not, and hopefully not the middle one, but you know, if you're a parent and you wanna tell your children not to do something, you can wag your finger. Beg, okay, so this is a dog saying, please, 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 feed me or take me for a walk, take me outside. So when the dog is hmm, hmm, and jumping around and asking for you to do something, they are begging you to do something, okay? Or if they want food, maybe they're just hungry. Fetch, okay, fetch. This is a very common game that uh, most dog owners play. Uh, my family has a dog, so sometimes I take my dog out for a walk and I throw a stick or I throw a ball and I say fetch. Fetch the ball. Fetch means go get it and come back. Go get it and come back. Now, this is not only for animals. I mean, it's not exactly super polite, but you can say, hey, can you, when you're at the grocery store, um, can you go fetch me a bag of milk, for example? Not really, really common, but you could say that. Roll over. This is a command to a dog. Um, if your dog is talented, your dog can do tricks. Obviously, they can sit. They can also roll over. So go from one side to another side. It can be a command. Lick. Okay. 
some people find it gross, but animals do lick your face. They can lick your face. So lick means using your tongue to, well, lick someone. There's really no other way to, to, to put it. Um, as you can see in this picture here, this person is really, really getting licked really badly. Okay, pet. You're thinking a dog is a pet, a cat is a pet. Pet is also a verb. So if you have a dog, if you have a cat, if you have any kind of pet where you can do this to them, right? You can stroke their fur, you can pet them. So you can pet your dog, you can pet your cat, okay? Um, bark, bark is the sound a dog makes. So if your dog hears a stranger at the door and they go, rah, 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 the dog is barking, okay? So again, the, the verb is bark. Now let's look at some cat verbs. So a cat will purr. Uh, when you hear this word, you can automatically imagine the word purr, purr, the cat going rrr, either because the cat is very happy or sleepy or tired, this is purring. We have meow, so obviously you can hear the, the sound in your head. Meow, 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 meow. You can use it as a verb. You can say, why is my cat meowing? Or sorry, why is my cat, why is your cat meowing? It would be weird for me to say, why is my cat meowing? Why is your cat meowing? Is he hungry? Hiss. If your cat does not like you or it does not like strangers or your friends or someone that you introduce them to, or if they're scared, your cat might hiss. So if they go, that's hissing, hissing. So that probably looked very ugly, I'm sorry. And last of all, this is something that cats do a lot. Um, dogs can do it too, humans do it too. Barf, throw up, or puke. So this is if you eat something and it comes back out of your mouth. Um, cats often cough up or barf up, throw up hairballs, for example, or just a lot of really, really gross, disgusting, not nice things, okay? So this means to, the, the, the correct verb is regurgitate. So you can look up regurgitate. Um, but informally, we say throw up or puke or barf. So if you say, oh no, my cat barfed on the sofa, not a good thing. Okay guys, so if you want to test your understanding of all of these cat and dog nouns and verbs, you can check out the quiz on engvid.com. Take care guys and good luck.